are just got here in Sydney area, Australia. We were in New Zealand the last three days. Now we're continuing our journey into Australia. So yeah, we're gonna explore the city tonight, go to the food court right now, and hopefully that's good. If not, we're exploring the city tonight. The boy. First day here in Australia City. Big photo opportunity with the uh, Opera House. Yes. All right, we stopped at a place in Sydney, and um, there's a lot of rocks here, and there's some really beautiful views. There's a couple boats in the water right now. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm just taking pictures. Bolt. mountain area, We've got some dope pics as Kyle just said, and now we're at the beach. <laughs> Who else wouldn't want to go to the beach in the winter here in Australia? It's 40 degrees and windy. Heading up to do Sydney Opera House tour. Hi. Just finished up the Sydney Opera House tour. It was pretty cool. It's a lot of cool rooms and showroom stuff. Now we're heading out to Sydney Tower. We'll to get some dinner. It's gonna be pretty cool. And yeah, I'll show you guys when we get there. Reason to give 
budge. I never fall or fold up. I'm a soldier. Even if my collarbones crush or crumble, I will never slip. All right, second day here in Sydney. We're going to the Featherdale Wildlife Park. We're here right now, actually. We're gonna see some sweet animal and wildlife for you. All right, guys, we're here in the zoo. The only thing we need to do this trip was see some real and get photos with it, so we're gonna go do that. Ignore this. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, so if you can't tell by looking at us, Cam and I just went surfing in Australia. Super fun, waves are huge. If you see the, if you saw the California vlog, you thought those were cool. Yeah, these are like three times that. So yeah, low key, but super fun. It's exhausting. We did it for a little over an hour probably. Super cool. Um, I don't know, what else do you want to say, Cam? Um, well, a lot bigger than we expected, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> it was definitely an experience we were happy to have. Yeah, now we can say we went out surfing in Australia. And yeah, time to rinse off and didn't get any cool footage since. Didn't have a drone with me, but trust me, I don't know if people want to see it anyway. Most of it was us just uh, drowning low key, but super fun. Cut a few, but mainly it's fun. All right, so after talking about the surfing experience with Cam, we found this great top tip for you guys. If you ever think about surfing, Pro tip number one, get a hardboard. Because what that does is enables you to go under the wave rather than what Cam and I have been doing. And you can't go under it, so you just like stay up. So when a wave breaks, it just keeps hitting you and pushing you back. It really limits you to how far you can get out and uh, kind of drains you of energy. But yeah, pro tip, good luck. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> just kidding, there's more coming. Don't think it's over. To the ferry, not sure if we're gonna make it off though. Now we're trying to embark on our journey back to the hotel. We'll see how far we go. A lot of hills here in Australia, or Sydney area, so keep that in mind when traveling. Low key out of breath. <laughs> but yeah, we'll find our way back, I'm sure. Our next adventure, fine dining up way up there. What's everybody think? Pretty new. Yeah, okay. Big up. You must be new. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yeah. I would eat kangaroo. <laughs> this is for the boys. It's for him. 
So Andrew, like I said, he just finished that whole play himself. Okay. Come on, we're back at yet another airport. This is flight six of eight, I believe. And we're enjoying our time here. Andy and Cam got Krispy Kreme. Girl, no window. <laughs> Landed in camp, as you saw, and we had a great view of our window. It just wasn't there, literally the one row, no window. But hey, we're in the heat now, so we're gonna enjoy it. Cans, 20 degree difference, already loving the heat out here. It might not look too pleasant behind me, but whatever. Rooms are huge, good way to end the trip. We made it back to our final hotel. Pool over there. Our rooms are ginormous. Probably could have fit like eight people in each of them, but we only have three. Um, I don't know. I'd rate this like a six out of ten. Definitely better than all the other hotels. But kind of not American. Took the train up, I'm taking Sky Rail down. <laughs> so what are some of your highlights of the trip? Um, in New Zealand, my highlights were Ogo and Luge because like they were like really fun touristy things. And then my most favorite thing was snorkeling because that was an amazing experience to be able to see the Great Barrier Reef. What did you guys find the most interesting on this Australia trip slash New Zealand? I'm gonna say snorkeling in the Great Barrier Reef um, with a sea turtle, a wild sea turtle. <laughs> uh, I like going to the uh, Featherdale Wildlife Park and uh, feeding kangaroos and wallabies. That was very fun. Alright, so that concludes Big Australia New Zealand trip. Hope you enjoyed this video and maybe there's one coming out next. Don't know if this is the last one or not, but hope you enjoyed. You know, as always, subscribe, leave a like, drop a comment. Till next time.